Democracy is the problem. The deep state controls the world through democracies. Any nation that is a democracy, so-called democracy, ruled by the people... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> people who think that America is actually ruled by the American people. Okay, anyway, any country that is a democracy is controlled by the deep state. Any country that has a leader that is strong enough to resist them is a dictatorship. So a dictatorship means it's not controlled by the deep state. Democracy means that it's controlled by the deep state. Look, it started with the Jesuits that overthrew the, the king. They killed the king in France during the French Revolution. And that's the start of the democracy. Some people say that the Jesuits are the Illuminati and these uh, deep state people, those old lineages. I understand why Phil Valentine said that now. Look, they like a system where you think you have power because you're a conservative or you're a liberal or you're a socialist. You keep on debating with each other but in reality, you never see who really is controlling the resources of the world. So you vote for the Republicans or the Democrats, but, but the deep state control both, both parties. You see? You're, you're in Sweden. You're, you're, you vote for the moderates or the social democrats or, or the liberals. Or, but the deep state control all of these parties. That's why it doesn't matter who is in power. There's always another agenda behind it. It doesn't matter if it's Barack Obama. He will run the deep state business. It doesn't matter if it's Angela Merkel in, in Germany. Uh, it's, what's he called? Emmanuel Macron, Justin Trudeau, they will run exactly the same agenda. Doesn't matter in Sweden if it's Friedrich Reinfeldt or Magdalena Andersson, they will run the same agenda. They have this way of fractionalizing ownership. That's why they want to institute democracy everywhere. And any African nation that resists their democracy, that's a nation that is harder to control. That's called a dictatorship. And in the worst case, they can even fight a war against that dictatorship using their military arm, which is NATO, like they did in Yugoslavia or they did in Iraq. Saddam Hussein they didn't need, needed to overthrow Saddam Hussein. He was true, too strong of a leader. They needed to overthrow Gaddafi. He was too strong of a leader. Um, now they have a big problem with China and communism because communism centralizes power. Look, they fractionalize power. They like a system where there are many parties fighting for power and debating because that way they can control all the parties. So they like when there are small parties fighting each other over control. Then that way the people are calm and think that they have power. But in reality, the power is elsewhere. In reality, through banking system, interest rate and loans, they extort all the resources from the farmers, the countryside, the resource intensive places and put it to the elite, uh, a deep state who probably all live in Schweiz or something like that. They do the same with companies. That's why the largest companies are traded in a stock market because they have this way of splitting the ownership into thousands of smaller owners and then you don't really know who is owning uh, uh, Microsoft, who owns Apple, who owns uh, you know McDonald's, who owns all of these companies. There are many many different funds that then have owners, that then have owners and then in the end it's the same people. So they have this way of sort of creating a lot of confusion and splitting ownership into many unofficial owners but then you re never know who is the real owner behind all of these funds and trusts and 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 kinds of organizations and they do the same with democracy any party that get gains too many votes becomes a problem to the deep state so it doesn't matter if it's right or left wing. Any leader who starts becoming like a king, starts becoming too strong, too much centered power, that is a leader that the deep state no longer can control with their confusion of stuff. So they need to overthrow him. Label him a dictator or just use NATO and take him out. And now they want to take out Putin because Putin is becoming that sort of Russian king or a monarch that is strong enough and he's uniting Russia strong enough against the deep state and they can't handle that. So they are trying to sanction the hell out of Russia so that they, they basically go bankrupt. The sanctions didn't work. Now they are pouring military resources, both 
guns, weapons, missiles, and, and NATO troops, like the Delta Force is fighting in Ukraine. The SAS are fighting in Ukraine. They are pouring troops in secret and weapons to Ukraine to try to defeat Russia because Russia is defying the deep state. And when Russia defines the deep state, more people will define the deep state. By the way, I could never talk like this on TikTok because in TikTok I get shadow banned anytime I speak against the deep state's agenda. But here I am small enough and on Instagram I'm small enough to be able to tell the truth to you. It's algorithm based, they call controlled algorithms. When you get more than a certain amount of followers, then the algorithm starts scrutinizing you more in detail. That's why Jordan Peterson got banned now recently from uh, Twitter, because he's too, it's, it's the same. Jordan Peterson is too powerful. They don't like people who are so powerful as Jordan Peterson that they can't control with their woke and LBTQ and all of these agendas that they do. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that people should be oppressed because of these things. But the deep state use these things to kind of uh, witch brand people who disagree with them. Or, i.e. people who are too strong. Also, why they have a problem with Donald Trump. Uh, and, 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 and Xi Jinping in China and North Korea because they can't control them as easily. Uh, oh, this is what it is about. So the problem is democracy. Democracy fractionalizes power into small parties, gives you the idea and the illusion that you are voting and you are the one who decides your ruler. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> if you did, why then, if you vote for the liberal, you get still another uh, policy? Why, if you vote for the conservatives or the socialists, you get exactly the same politics? Sweden voted for social democrats. Social democrats promised no NATO membership, but the deep state controls Magdalena Andersson, so they pushed for NATO. Huh? The social democrats pr pr in Sweden promised to protect the Kurds. But when they got power, the deep state controlled them. Now, all of a sudden, they, they left out 73 Kurds to Turkey. You see, it's someone else pulling the strings. What's the solution? We need our kings. The Sunnah government, oldest form of governance, was before the Jesuits overthrew the French king during the French Revolution. We need the king back. We need the return of the king. The return of the king. The return of the sultan. The king can have any ideology. He can have a blend of conservatism, liberalism, socialism. He can take the best of all the ideologies to care for his people, to take care of all of his people. King is sunnah. Uh, monarchy is sunnah. Read the, the, the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. Read the Torah. Read the, the Quran. The, the Hadith is very clear. Monarchy is sunnah. Overthrowing of the king leads to the rule of the shaitan. And I would say that these people are preparing even the Dajjal. And this is the Dajjalic system of the deep state that uh, rules through democracy and fractionalizing power, just like they do with large uh, publicly traded uh, share, 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 shareholder companies. They split the company's ownership in shares. So you never know who really is controlling things. And what they do with the capitalist system is exactly what the, the communists have been saying. Because truth is found in all sides. They use interest rates, finance to give loans to poor countries through IMF, World Bank, extort the resources by, by forcing them to trade the natural resources to currency and pay back a loan that they never can pay back and then interest upon interest. Over time, they have extorted all of that value from Africa while leaving very little to the people. That's why Africa is so poor, but certain powers in the West are rich. That's why the countryside in Europe, where all of the real economic value is produced, is poor, but the city centers are rich. This is how they are extorting the resources. And instead of the people, the people, the people, the people rebelling against these elites who actually extort their resources, the elites use media uh, that they control and social media to keep them divided over a right wing versus left wing and this ideology versus that ideology and thinking that they actually have the power through democracy, which they don't. What they, the people really need is a king that is beyond these ideologies that does the best for people and, and, and ends the deep state. Hopefully this video is helpful. Asalaamu Alaikum.